Okay, so today's been a really challenging day. I wanted to start out and take a walk so I could just kind of get my thoughts together on how to move forward. Look at all the obstacles that seem to just spring up in front of me out of nowhere. I'm wondering whether they've just always been there and I didn't see them on the horizon or if they truly are new obstacles. And then they show up to cut down our favorite tree. So we're not going to be having much shade. Not only that, well, something happened. Of course, nobody pays attention and stuff gets broken. They chopped off her bloody head. It was the first figurine Kim's dad bought Kim's mom when she came home from the hospital 16 years ago after having had a stroke. And it was in their yard. We'd moved it to ours. So I'm going out and I'm walking around and I'm trying to make sure that I can stay healthy and have a chance to get my thoughts together. I used to go for drives to get my thoughts together. These days it's going for walks. So I'm out in the neighborhood checking out the playground, put the tennis courts behind me, trying to figure out where tennis actually fits in our world. If it still does fit in our world, is anything other than just kind of what we do as a family and what my daughter does to try to get a college scholarship. But in terms of professionally and how I earn a living, what is its place? I'm trying to figure it out. So I figured I'd walk and check out the scenery. Pretty nice place to walk living in a neighborhood that has trails. So I'm going to, after I take this little stop here, I'm going to get out. It's a really windy day. Hopefully the audio ends up being okay. I'm trying to figure out this whole camera thing. It's a challenge. It's somewhat exhausting. It's very scary. Like super, super, super scary venturing into a place that I've never earned a penny and counting on it for my existence. Not only my existence, but the welfare of my three kids and of mom and of him. It's scary. The scary isn't going to ever stop me from soldiering on. Everybody, jump on my back. Here we go. Gonna get this done. Because there is no other choice. And I'm capable of it. There's got to be more to this story. I'm gonna go for a walk see what it is. So as the day went on, it got warmer. I went for a walk. I didn't feel any better. So I said, well, let me get out, hit some balls with Cece and see maybe that will be my comfy, cozy place that'll get me out. And well, just more questions came up. Like, am I ever going to again physically be able to be at a place that it makes sense for me to be out there with my 15 year old? She's getting better and better and things are looking smoother and she's just getting to be a beast. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get back, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do a little bit of exercise. I figure, well, if I start now at about eight or nine minutes a day and add a minute um, each week as we go along, by the end of the year, I'll be yeah, somewhere around an hour working out a day. Just physically me trying to get there, stretching out, getting stronger physically. 
So we'll, we'll see if that's where it is. Not every day has a happy ending, but there's always tomorrow. And tomorrow we're going to have back at it again. And we are going to do everything we can to go into beast mode. Because it's what we do. Peace.